You. What is up, everyone? Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. Um, so today we are taking a day to recuperate from the last job. We're probably going to go back to quit, uh, to the North Cape May house tomorrow because the basement still is like another couple hours of work. Um, and we don't want to just leave it hanging. Even though Joe submitted the pictures, uh, it's still our responsibility to finish. So I think we're going to go back there tomorrow. And then... We have another job hopefully that we are going to be bidding in the next couple days and then there's the greg alicino backyard that we never finished totally even though they already sent the check so that's a whole day there so probably monday kate may tuesday finished i even though i have a video that's entitled finished um it actually was never finished so tuesday greg backyard hillside Wednesday, hopefully bid the other job. Um, and then we have to just start reselling. Hopefully yard sale next weekend at our house. And then the following weekend from that, we have a flea market in Summers Point, which is where we live. But today our mission is, I'm cleaning up all the footage right now. Um, I just transferred three huge files onto my external hard drive so that I have more space on my computer. Because it just eats up the space filming every day like this. Um, we are trying to make three different sales today. I'm picking up a chair right now in Ocean City that actually came from, I believe, a school auction that my dad bought out the contents of two rooms. And then he has to t he took everything, but um, yeah, pretty much he has no use for it. It's just been sitting getting wet, and this lady's going to give me $25 for it off of offer up. Uh, she seems pretty cool. We've been talking, me and Sammy have been talking back and forth with her for like, I'd say a week. So she's pretty into the chair. She might buy some other antiques. Um, tons of plans in my head that I just need to get going. Like, I would love to just organize the whole garage so that it's like a store. But it's just so much work. And there's just so much shit. But, uh make that like if we had a yard sale and this and the whole garage was just like a full-on store like with shelves people could just walk through it and just you know buy 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 but uh i don't know don't know if we're gonna have that done by next weekend but here's the second round of the change from that house which is probably like 20 25 dollars around so uh always collect your change kind of Mike gave me the inspiration that no matter what it is just grab it even the pennies because it adds up and it, it is true it does add up so you guys definitely will be seeing more of Mike Flores on the videos because he's a stand-up awesome hard-working dude and he, you know he's a grinder he, he every day he's trying to you know look for the next hustle even if it means tons of hard work but he's getting he starts his job tomorrow but uh, on the weekends and after after work, he said, anytime when I need help, he's down with it. So, for the dream. And also, my friend, I was just going to say, my friend Cody, I just saw, once Scott picked up the bike, or once Scott looked at the bike the second time and finalized the deal, he was with him. And I've known this kid forever. Uh, and then last night at South End, when my parents were there, I saw him. And then he was at Scott's house when I dropped off. He keeps popping up just randomly in my life uh, after a long time of not seeing him. And he said he's looking for work, so possibly he'll be on some of the jobs too. So it's always cool to offer your friends work um, instead of just, you know, someone random. Because if you can help out the people that you know in your life, you should. That's how I feel anyway. But yeah, boys. Another beautiful day in paradise. You. All right, so I just had to take this door off of here because my dad likes to move stuff around so much that he put the chair over here. There it is. And I had to take that door off of there with these. Didn't even have a real screwdriver. But uh, got the chair 
and I might be a little late to meet her, but at least I'm not showing up empty handed. Whew. And this chair is pretty cool. Totally epic actually. All right, just uncovered the last, maybe not the last, but the load we got yesterday. Mostly scrap. Maybe a couple resale value things in here, like the ladder. Um, Mike said we could resell the ladder, so we will see. All right, Sammy J's making the first step towards quitting cigarettes. E-vape, we're gonna see how this works out. Probably a waste of money. So I'm gonna try quit to quit smoking cigarettes. I got a vape. It's like an e-leaf vape. Probably not the best kind, but it's good for people who are starting off vaping. It's probably good. It's like the best one of the best ones they have. Maybe. Um so yeah, there's only 5% nicotine in this one. How much percent can you get, 10? You can get it high, I don't know, but I don't know how you, people, because this, I can feel it. I felt like the one that's like, actually now I'm thinking about it, I felt the one that was like 25% and I, I almost died because it hurt my lungs so bad. You look cool at least. Yeah, they Vape life, yeah. boys, yeah! Yeah, but you can go to like four. All right, so a little bit Bobcat style. Our dryer pilot ignition is not working. So I'm gonna try and figure out on YouTube how to fix it. Um, and, or if not, just somehow get a new dryer from a clean out, but oh my. This shit's blown everywhere. But we're drying off our clothes here. Old fashioned style, but they're blowing all over the place because we don't have clothes pins. How gnarly is this though? We need clothes pins, right? Yeah. How gnarly are you? Gnarly. I can't believe you're not vaping out here. Dude. It's like such a nice day to like put your clothes on the line and vape. <laughs> You know? Shut up. Oh, this is pretty much dry. No, Alright, I'm gonna pull out the the keep life stuff here and leave just the scrap, I guess, in the trailer. Um pretty much all scrap. I mean honestly this, this desk is kind of like just totally ruined in my personal opinion, but like cleaned up. in my value, scrap value, but like people do buy these. I don't know. I don't know if we showed this ever, because it's hard to show everything. But this is a um, Division of Motor Vehicles inspector driver testing coat. I looked in the pockets for money, none, but it could be worth four bucks. Two of these filled that were like 50, 60 pounds each. Recycled them here and at, out front of our house and they took them. But I'm gonna just pour this in the other one. So 
Sammy J's all about that vape life now. Okay, we are. Uh, are we though, really? Or did I leave the key inside? Hmm. All right, so this is the heavy claim. Um, me and Mike were talking about needing more room and he's been thinking about buying a property with his dad for a, a while he said he actually was trying to get me to do a drone shot of this one property they were thinking about buying so they could see overhead on it uh, like six months or five months ago maybe even less but that never happened because the drone got stolen as you guys know but also like Sammy and me at our personal house are always fighting for room like we want to keep our house our house and have our garage like whatever and the keep life room that's different in the shed but that's all filled up already like we i mean in this business make the way you make money is to keep stuff and sell it on top of you know that's how you make the maximum money and we've been throwing out giving away or getting rid of valuable items that could make us money because we don't have enough room so like the possibility of buying some land is very real and Mike hit me up this morning and said he's found some land for a full-on steal and it's like in between closer to our house but in between his shop and house and our house so like I don't know what he's planning what the deal is what it looks like anything honestly I've probably been in the property if it's on Summers Point Mays Landing Road because I just go down that road all the time and go exploring. It's the vein of awesomeness. And literally, I've been getting lured into that road for a ridiculous amount of time, like years, where I just keep driving down the road and like driving down driveways and checking out abandoned places. So it's possible we might go in on some kind of a crazy real estate shop, yard, deal, but it's also possible that none of it's gonna work out too, so we will. Dude, and he drove the whip. Yo, this is too good, boys. <laughs> Why do you like it so much? Oh, you got me hooked. There's just the Rambo Ranch, man. <laughs> oh man, no, I'm talking about this tree. Oh, this? Oh, Dude, this thing. so good. Don't show the rust underneath. Don't show the license plate, right? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, boys. What's up with that shit on the roof? Ah, uh, the sunroof Was leaks. that all you? No, the sunroof leaks. You I put gotta... some tape on there, boy? Nah, it was like that. <laughs> oh, is your daughter yeah. in there? Oh, I can't even see through there. It's so tinted. It's limo tint, boys. <laughs> yeah, this prop... Yeah, we've been to this property before. Nah. -uh. And your money's falling out. But yeah, we've been to this property before. Dude, is this uh, all black everything? <laughs> Would you ride this thing out? Yeah. Yo, this could become your uh, personal car. She's trying to get me to keep it. I don't want to keep it. Keep life, right? Yeah. For yeah. sure, right? Yeah. I'm claiming keep life. Well, you remember the back of this thing? So yeah. Good. Oh my Three gosh. Three against one. Look at this car. Yeah. Oh my god. It's brand new. No way. Oh my gosh, it looks so clean. Oh man. Wow. The YouTube? Started slowly recording a little bit. What's the channel? Same one? Yeah, yeah, it's Flores Custom Auto. And uh, I started at the shop. I was going through the whole thing and you just see like piles of this is, uh, trash everywhere. What do you, how do you say? Keep live, baby, uh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be putting some dirty ass trash cans in here that now. <laughs> Why did he claim it? I said it looks better than the fucking Yeah, but I don't detail car. Yeah, this too. That's the extra oh, drawer. drawer, yeah. I don't even put it in there. Nah, why would you ruin such a nice car with that piece? Know, it doesn't huh? look so good. Hey, this thing's a dream. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah, this thing's a dream come true. Is that what you're claiming? It's so awesome, man. I mean, it's a good deal. I just want the property. I mean, that trash can's worth like 80 bucks right there. The waste management one. On the other side. Oh yeah, the big one. Yeah, yeah. 
It, it, it goes up. in. Uh, we can go in the other side. Right. I've been in here before. That's funny. With Jimmy bags. This could potentially be a bad sign. A, a tarp and a shovel. <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to drop a body back here, this would be the place to do it. The fact that they have a rake in the woods back here is just Desiree's back wall. <laughs> like, what, what would that do? So this is like, this is what, almost five acres of paradise back here? 4.86 acres of the dream. This guy's about to purchase this. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Purchasing a little piece of paradise there, really. <laughs> There's another house there, but that's all burnable too. So you'd have a nice clearing right off the bat if you cleared that, you know what I mean? And then you're good with a couple cuts and you're yeah, fucking back right here. here. I mean, the way I act, I would just drive through here as is. Yeah, this is a nice slab, though, boy. Yeah, this is a nice little foundation. Yeah, this slab right here, though, boys? Like, yeah. Nice. Do you want to look in there? Huh? You want to look in there? Yeah, but I want her to stay out here. Tell her to stay with Sam. Let's go stay with Sam. This is a dreamer. Yeah, there was a garage here. Yeah. This is nice. This, this slab is nice. I must have fell in. Yeah, over like the last 40 years that no one was here. Oh, another nail. Did that go in your shoe? Yeah. So you're not, oh, well, they were trying to remodel this beauty at some point. <laughs> You should move in here, baby. I'm thinking squatter's rights on this one. Oh, yeah. Like, I move in here for the day. Oh, it's crazy, dude. That fact that it has a concrete floor, though. It's... There is a fire, though. See? Yeah, it looks like it. I don't see why it wouldn't have one, the way this place is built. I don't know. I wish they would have finished the fucking job. No, I claim this is. Shelving. I personally claim this is savable. This part, just a hoard shit. If you got some nice, dude, board it up. Laminate stand. Let lemonade. Stand. No, dude, I'm talking like full hoard. Like, <laughs> like fill this thing with shit in a couple days. The way I hoard. Uh, I guess. I don't know. So on buildings, certain buildings, they put a, like I think it's a triangle or something similar to that. Where they let the firefighters know what kind of roof it is. Technically, so yeah, but that, yeah. Happens, it's not that hard to get purple. You know what I mean? Because there's certain roofs, I guess, if they catch on fire, they just collapse on the people fire. and then yeah. someone's dead over nothing. Yeah. So, for anyone's information, tidbit of I just looked up that there's a orange X on this building and that building, so it means unsafe structure for any firefighters to enter in case of like a fire response team, they just let it burn. So, pretty cool. I didn't know that. I thought it meant condemned. But that was on a New York website. I'm assuming New Jersey's probably the same. So, either way, for the dream. So, this guy's such a legend. He went, detailed the car inside and out, got it running, and got a dealer plate so he can legally drive it around. This is unreal, boys. That whippy whip right back there that he's that's from the that foreclosure that's real. So he put a couple he could put some money out uh you know on it, but it was worth it. And it makes me feel awesome. Cause I wouldn't have done that and I don't even clean my 
own car. And that guy got a car for free and it looked fresher than my truck ever did. So he loves cars. They're so old, they're like the cars from... But like, these are worth money. Look at that tree though, dude. That's how long it's been here. Look at that. This BMW this says too. Daddy, this is your place. Daddy, this is your place. What is this place? Spanish. That guy looked white. I don't know. I don't know. There's two trucks that look exactly, that look exactly the same. The same that yeah. Scrap guy that have like the same like side same setup. Exact truck though. <laughs> but have the same racks and everything. Too and they funny. both scrap. Like what was he doing? But we're about to pull in here and meet up with Marilyn, uh, a 71 year old viewer from Galloway um, that views our videos, and she's gonna buy a couple pieces of antiques um, and she has a present for us I guess she said but gonna sell some antiques to her and she's happy to meet us so it's a cool situation um, we had to come to Walmart anyway to get veggie burgers and some other stuff so two birds one stone not that I would even kill any birds with any stones because I love animals but the expression anyway but yeah, already making more money off of the antiques from the job on top of what we already made. And Ray Skiz is riding around on the Harley right now. And Mike Flores is driving around in the car right now, both from the job. So that's how glorious that is. Jeez. I can't see anything with this sunlight. Hey, perfect spot, right? Yeah. What's hey. up? Hey. <laughs> hey. How are you? All right. Oh, God, you're so tall. <laughs> Here, I put it in paper and then in there. Okay. So. Yeah, well, well, there you are. are. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, I have something for you, too. But... What huh? Oh, we'll we'll just walk there, it back down. Back. That's fine. Okay. All right. Hey. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> Sorry, we took a little bit, but uh, sitting here talking. Yeah, <laughs> um, hi. hi, hey, how you doing? That's this is Tucker. This hey, is how you doing? Sammy, hi, hi. this is Linda, Linda. Nice and I'm Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look here. This oh, is wow. this stuff. I, uh, this is all oh, fresh. Wow. I got the tomatoes, I made homemade sauce, Yum. and um, no green way. beans, green beans, and cranberry sauce, and peach. Jam from Jersey Peaches. Wow, and it's all good. Let me tell you. Yeah, we came to the Walmart good. and we got homemade that food. So, <laughs> thank oh, you so, so much. excited. We can, I guess we can just walk it back. Yeah, we'll just walk it back. Thank you so much. Right. Thank okay. you. Yeah. You're welcome. So, so I, I feel like I know you That's guys. Awesome. I mean, I see you all the time every day. <laughs> you watch. <laughs> you. All right, we are heading off to bed. Sammy's got her vape life so she can hit it in the house now because it's just all about that vape life. That thing works wonders, huh? So that's a total dream. I'm happy because... All right, I was saying the camera just died again because I keep forgetting to charge it pretty much, but 
we are going to sleep for the night and tomorrow is another heavy day just like every day pretty much but we're going to go back to Cape May I think tomorrow try and just finish the basement and take all the scrap that we can and anything else that's usable in any way sellable we're going to take and bring back here Sammy J's got her new vape looking adorable with it the prettiest and yeah we will see you guys in the morning for some more claims you also i would like to say thank you guys so much for everyone uh awesome support from all the videos you know just telling us to keep pushing through the the clean out um everyone doesn't realize that we're pretty much done the job because the videos are being released like three days after we filmed them but uh thank you guys so much for all the support and it looks like hopefully we're going to have another heavy job similar to this hopefully we get it coming up and then maybe possibly even another job in Ventnor at that hoarder house too coming up so the dream continues on and on so the dream is out there but uh yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow so you know what that means good night or good morning you you you